Did James Harden prove with his performance last night that he is the most important factor of the big three? He did, but Perk, I heard you call me out. What's up? You have something to say? No, no, go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing right quick. I want to hear what you got to say, Max. Okay. Go ahead and handle your business. I want to hear this. The, an the, answer, the answer is yes. Harden is the key. And let me be very clear. I am in no way saying he is better than Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is the best player on the team. But Harden's the key to the big three. He is. Let's go. Let's rewind this. Remember when the trade took place? Harden was playing himself out of Houston, right? He, they, they weren't even, he wasn't even in the lineup, and he wasn't playing well before he left. And he was throwing the team. Like, he was, it looked just bad for Harden. And everyone knew why he was doing it. He's trying to force his way out of town, and it worked. He shows up in Brooklyn. Perk, how many times have I said it? Fat, looking like he just rolled out of bed, looking like a hot mess. And what'd he do? Rolled out of bed. No Kyrie at the time. Kyrie wasn't playing at the time. It was, it was Harden and KD and started killing them. Started killing them. They started winning right away as though they never missed the best. They've been playing together this whole time. Harden, when he got to the team, was the guy who was going to have to sacrifice the most. I knew that from the beginning. It wasn't going to be Kyrie. It was going to be Harden. And what has Harden done? You know what it reminds me of, Perk? When I was a kid, I used to hear stories, because I was born in 73. The Knicks won the championship January 73. I was born in August, last time they won a title. And I would hear stories of Earl the Pearl Monroe coming to the Knicks, right? And Earl the Pearl Monroe, back then known as Black Jesus, if you want to YouTube Earl the Pearl, he would be giving guys the business today. Today, he was nasty. And the whole thing was there's only one ball. How are, there's only, how are they going to share this backcourt, these two guys? But P Earl the Pearl wanted to be great. Clyde Frazier already had a ring. He wanted to be great. And so it worked fine. They won the championship together. How are they going to work this? How, what's going to happen? James Harden has given up shots until they needed him to score last night. He's done everything that he's needed to do. His judgment with the ball and his court vision setting up teammates has been extraordinary. And he is the key to this offense. All right, and Stephen A. Smith now here on First Take. So, Stephen A., we're asking the question right now, with James Harden's dynamic performance last night, scoring 38 points, helping them to get that comeback victory, is he now considered the most important factor of the big three? No, he's not. Uh, he's great. Uh, he, showed, he, he showed it last night. He reminded us of what he can do. Uh, when he doesn't have a big two to go along with him. Uh, but the key component in all of this is Kevin Durant. When you talk about the Brooklyn Nets and being title contenders uh, or, or legitimately winning the chip, it's not going to happen without KD. KD can win a chip potentially with Kyrie. KD can win a chip potentially with James Harden. KD will defin could definitely win a chip with the both of them. Neither of them are winning it without him. That's the bottom line. If KD, I'm sorry, if Kyrie and Harden were the cornerstones of this franchise, we wouldn't be talking about the Nets winning the championship. We'd be talking about them being a contender, but we, we, we'd have legitimate arguments as to whether as to why they wouldn't even come out of the Eastern Conference. That's the difference. Now, that's not to diminish what James Harden is giving you in any way. James Harden is a superstar in this league. He's fresh off of averaging over 30 the last three years. He's captured the league MVP. We know how electrifying offensively he is. And what he's been doing this year is unbelievable because he's as selfless as they come. He's highlighting the fact that he can be selfless. Uh, he hasn't been given enough credit for it. He is the best point guard on the team and, and, and might be the best point guard in basketball right now the way that he's been playing and running the show for the Brooklyn Nets. But in the end, what it comes down to is you ain't getting but so far and you ain't doing but so much unless you have Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is the key to the Nets' big three. Without him, it doesn't work. Well, you, well you, I'm going to say this, and I respectfully disagree, and both of you guys came up with great points, but the key to this team, to the big three, is Kyrie Irving. We already know what we're going to get out of Kevin Durant. We know the efficiency, and he's going to put the ball in the basket at a high efficiency level. We know that James Harden could also put the ball in the basket, but also make guys around him better and lead the league in assists, as you just alluded to, Stephen A., the best point guard on that team and probably the best point guard in the league right now. But when you talk about Kyrie Irving, 
He is going to be the deciding factor in all this. And here's why. He has one job, and that job is to go out there and be that guy to get buckets. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the defense is so horrendous and so terrible that they're going to have to beat a lot of teams and win a lot of series on the offensive end. And if Kyrie Irving don't have those monster nights and don't shoot at a high efficiency level, then the Brooklyn Nets are not going anywhere. They need Kyrie Irving to be the Kyrie Irving that we have been witnessing this season. Arguably having the best season of his career, especially efficiency-wise. So when I look at the key to the big three, I strongly believe that it's Kyrie Irving that's going to be the deciding factor whether or not they win the championship. Uh, well, I think it's, I, it's James Harden. Look, Kyrie is freed up now, guys. Kyrie is freed up when he said, you're the point guard, I'm the off guard. It freed Kyrie up to score. No one's going to stop Kyrie Irving from scoring when he doesn't have to especially worry about running the offense because Kyrie has some court vision and, and obviously can pass, but not court vision that James Harden has. And James Harden shows better judgment with the ball. I mean, when you think about the responsibility of Harden in this offense, and I really believe you take anyone off this team, they're not going to win a championship. But all three, they can, and they very well might even this year if they can get the defense together. Harden is the guy asked to change. He's the guy asked to give up shots. And last night, talk about judgment, he's the guy hunting mismatches and pick and rolling them to death in the second half. Of course, you know, used to D'Antoni, Steve Nash, D'Antoni on the bench. Pick and rolling them to death in the second half, showing that judgment and court vision, never mind scoring ability. He was the guy who from day one made it work with made it work with KD. And then after a couple weeks, figured it out with Kyrie. He's the glue guy. He's the guy who holds it all together.